क्लास इलेवन अकाउंटेंसी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल गुरु ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स एज यू ऑल नो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर प्रिपेयर एट द एंड ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग पीरियड द अकाउंटिंग प्रोसेस स्टार्ट विद द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन एंड इट्स एंड्स विद द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स विच आर प्रिपेयर बाय सॉल्व प्रोपराइटरशिप कंसर्न सो लेटेस्ट बिगिन वॉट आर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स रिफर टू सच स्टेटमेंट्स विच रिपोर्ट द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी एंड फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ए बिजनेस सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दे सो फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस फाइनेंशियल परफॉर्मेंस मीन्स प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ बिजनेस Financial position means asset and liability position of business. So here you have two words. One is financial performance and second is financial position. Financial performance means profitability position of the organization, whereas financial position means assets and liability position of a business at the end of accounting year. Dear students. financial statements are prepared at the end of the accounting year financial statement include basically two statements one is trading and profit and loss account it is also known as income statement and second is balance sheet trading and profit and loss account gives information about profitability of a business organization whereas balance sheet gives information about assets and liability position of a business at the end of accounting year what is the objective of preparing financial statements first objective to determine gross profit or gross loss in financial statement we prepare trading account and trading account helps to determine gross profit earn or gross loss suffered during an accounting year by a business firm so one of the objective of preparing financial statements is to determine gross profit or gross loss second objective to determine net profit or net loss in financial statements we prepare profit and loss account the end result of the profit and loss account is net profit or net loss so profit and loss account helps us to know net profit and net loss it enables comparison of profit trading and profit and loss account helps to compare previous years profit to determine the efficiency of business operations that means we can compare profit and loss account and trading account of current year with the previous years and we can come to know whether our profit is increasing or not what is the progress in our business what is the rate of increase in the profitability that can be determined by financial statement we can compare one year financial statement with the another year and we can know the efficiency of the management third details of expenses in trading account and in profit and loss account we write different types of expenses so this financial statement gives detailed record of different types of business expenses trading and profit and loss account gives the details of all direct and indirect expenses and income of a business it enables a firm to reduce the rate of expenses and enhance the source of income so we can compare the increase in the expenses and we can also decide which expenses should be controlled by business organization let us first begin with the trading account trading account is one of the important financial statement 
it is prepared by trading organizations who are dealing in buying and selling activities so trading account is the first step in the process of preparing final accounts it helps in finding out the gross profit or gross loss during an accounting year which is an important indicator of business efficiency when you prepare trading account you record all the direct expenses in trading account all the direct expenses are debited to the trading account and all direct income like income from the sale of goods and services are credited in trading account expenses we write on the debit side of the trading account and income we write on the credit side net result of the trading account if total credit side is greater than the debit side then the difference is called gross profit and if the total credit side is less than the debit side then the difference is called gross loss so in trading account the final answer you will get gross profit or gross loss if credit side total is more than debit then the difference will come on the debit side that is gross profit but if the debit side total is more than the credit side then the difference will come on the credit side and that is your gross loss whatever gross profit or gross loss you get both is not possible any one is possible whatever you get that will be transferred to profit and loss account format of trading account you can see here trading account is like t shape on the debit side first item is the opening stock then two purchase from this purchase we minus purchase return and all the direct expenses are recorded on the debit side like wages and salaries carriage inward freight inward power fuel gas dock charges royalty paid on production factory rent and rates manufacturing factory and production expenses so all the direct expenses are debited to trading account debit side on the credit side you can see we write income income from sales so first item is sales and from that we minus sales return then by closing stock and the final answer you will get by gross loss or gross profit gross profit or gross loss both are not possible any one is possible here one important thing you have to remember when you write closing stock on the credit side of the trading account then it is recorded at market price or cost price whichever is less that means you have to write less price if the market price of the closing stock closing stock means unsold stock if the market price of the closing stock is suppose 20000 and its cost price is 15000 then we will record 15000 as per the prudence concept let us see trading account by taking one illustration prepare trading account from the following information for the year ended 31st december 2014 closing stock was valued on 31st december 2014 is rupees 80000 so closing stock we write on the credit side of trading account see the item stock on 1st january 2014 rupees 60000 opening stock is given that will go on the debit side of the trading account purchase we will write on the debit side of the trading account sales rupees 155000 that will go on the credit side of the trading account return inward rupees 5000 this is sales return that you will minus from the sales return outward this is purchase return rupees 4000 that you will minus from the purchases wages wages you will write on the debit side of the trading account carriers rupees 15000 and call and gas and fuel expenses that will go on the debit side of the trading account so trading account will look like this trading account for the year ended 31st december 2014 credit side you can see by sales you have to write in in the inner column from that you will minus sales return that is return inward so final amount will be 150000 that will go in the outer column by closing stock 80000 here only one value is given so that value only we will write debit side different amount of expenses are written but you have to return remember opening stock will come first 
Opening stock means unsold goods of last year. Last year's closing stock will become opening stock of the current year. Then purchase, from purchase, purchase return is minus and different direct expenses are written. Here you can see credit side total is 230,000 and debit side total is less. So the difference is coming on the debit side and the difference amount is 50,000 that is your gross profit. This gross profit will be carried down to profit and loss account. We will transfer this to the profit and loss account credit side. Let us see the illustration number two. Prepare trading account from the following information for the year ended 31st December 2014. Closing stock was valued on 31st December 14 is rupees 18,000. This closing stock you will write on the credit side of the trading account. See the other item. Stock on 1st January rupees 48,000 that is opening stock. Here there is a printing mistake. It is opening stock of 2014 by mid printing mistake. Second purchase trading account debit side, sales trading account credit size, return inward minus from sales, return outward minus from purchase and wages direct expense. It is trading account debit side. So your trading account will look like this. Here you can see debit side total is more 79,000 so the difference is coming on the credit side last item by gross loss carried down 16,000 this gross loss you will carry down and it will be transferred to the profit and loss account debit side see here also opening stock is written first and closing stock credit side you can see it is written last so you have to remember this uh, sequence sales is always written first on the credit side so this is a proper way of writing that you have to follow. Always debit side opening stock will come first, then purchase you will write and all the direct expenses. Credit side first item you will write sales and then closing stock and if any other income is given, direct income that will be recorded here. So this is all about trading account. Illustration number three, prepare a trading account from the following particulars for the year ended 31st March 2011. Now here you can see debit credit is not given but we have to decide whether it will go debit side or credit side. So opening stock trading debit, purchase trading debit, sales trading account credit side, factory rent it is direct expense or trading account debit side, purchase return that you will minus from the purchase, sales return you will minus from sales, wages trading account debit side because it is a direct expense carriers on purchase it is also direct expense so trading account debit side manufacturing expense it is also expense of production direct expense so trading account debit side custom duty 4500 trading debit gas fuel and power 12000 we assume it is on production so it is trading debit and dock charges it is also direct expense so trading account debit side so if you prepare the trading account, your trading account will look like this. Opening stock is given, then purchase, from that purchase is minus, all the direct expenses are written, credit side, sales, from that sales return is minus. Here closing stock is not given, so we have not recorded. And the final answer is coming on the debit side to gross profit 2500. Because here credit side total is more than debit side, so the difference is coming on the debit side that is 2500 that is gross profit. So in this way dear students, trading account is prepared. Now let us understand what is profit and loss account. Profit and loss account is the second stage in the preparation of final accounts. It is prepared to determine net profit or net loss by a business firm during an accounting year. All the indirect expenses, remember indirect expenses which are not directly related with the production and purchase. All the indirect expenses are debited to its debit side and all the indirect expenses, sorry, all the indirect income are credited to credit side. Net result in the profit and loss account. In profit and loss account, you will get net profit or net loss. If the credit side total is more than the debit side, then the difference will come on on the debit side that is net profit. 
but if the debit side total is more than the credit side then the difference will come on the credit side and that is net loss simple logic if expenses are more than income then there would be loss but if the income is more than expense then there would be profit same rule is applicable in trading account and in profit and loss account debit side we write all expenses credit side we write different amount of income so if the credit side total is more then definitely there would be profit maybe gross profit or net profit as the case may be but if the debit side total is more that means expenses are more than income so there would be loss and loss we write on the credit side format of profit and loss account at the top you will write profit and loss account for the year end date whatever year is given that you will write and first item which you will write on the debit side is to gross loss brought down this you must have found in trading account so if trading account shows gross loss then it will be written here first see the credit side if there is a profit in the trading account then you will write first item by gross profit brought down this we brought from the trading account both are not possible any one is there if profit is there you will write on the credit side if loss is there you will write on the debit side then all indirect income you will write on the credit side see like rent received discount received commission received interest received on investment dividend received on shares bad debt recovered miscellaneous income or receives appraisal premium all these are the different types of indirect income debit side different types of indirect expenses like salaries and wages printing and stationery telephone charges legal charges rent postage lighting travelling expense trade expense etc so different types of expenses indirect expenses are recorded on the debit side to establishment expense to audit fees to general expense to conveyance to bank charges to commission to carriage to carriage and sales to bad debt advertisement and publicity packing expense so all types of marketing expense all types of administrative expense office expenses which we call indirect expense they are recorded on the debit side of the profit and loss account all the purchase related expense and manufacturing related expense we write on the debit side of the trading account here we write indirect expense like office expenses administrative expenses selling and distribution expenses marketing expenses etc so this was profit and loss account now let us see one illustration and try to understand profit and loss account prepare profit and loss account from the trial balance extracts of greenway limited for the year and date 31st march 2016 see the first item is given gross profit 90000 rupees salaries 9000 trade expense 10000 discount received 5000 rent received 6000 telephone expense 10000 wages 8000 here there is one printing mistake gross profit is given but the amount is written in the debit column gross profit has credit balance so it should be written in the credit column so this is a printing mistake so if you prepare the profit and loss account first item gross profit you will write on the credit side by gross profit brought down 90000 then all the indirect income like discount received by rent received whatever is given that you will write on the credit side as given in the question debit side you will write all indirect expense like salaries trade expense telephone expense etc which are given in the question if you make total then credit side total is more 1 lakh 1000 so the difference will come on the debit side last item 72000 that is net profit so to net profit carry it down this net profit we give to owner and that's why it is added to capital in balance sheet so when you will prepare balance sheet this net profit will be added in the capital let us see one more illustration prepare profit and loss account for the year and date 31st march 2010 from the following particulars 
gross profit 90000 rupees sorry 90500 so it will go on the credit side of profit and loss account trade expense debit side rents and tax debit side care is outward debit side salary is debit side postage and telegram debit side rent debit side legal charges debit side audit fee debit side depreciation debit side donation i think it is given so debit side general expense debit side selling expense debit side discount allowed debit side lighting debit side interest on investment it is income so it will go on the credit side commission received credit side bad debt debit side discount and in bracket credit word is written so it is discount received so it will go profit and loss account credit side interest on loan 1800 stable expense 1600 1600 export duty miscellaneous received credit side unproductive wages debit side traveling expense debit side so different types of incomes and expenses are given so if you prepare profit and loss account it will look like this profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2000 whatever year is given that you have to write at the top credit side you can see by gross profit 90500 commission received by discount by miscellaneous received and by interest on investment so these are the income given in the question debit side all the expenses are written like trade expense now student remember trade expense will be recorded in the profit and loss debit side not in trading account debit side so many times student get confused that the word is trade so they write in the trading account no this is a trade expense it is indirect expense so it will go on the profit and loss debit side then care is outward it will go in the profit and loss debit if care is inward is given then you can write in the trading debit but it is outward so it is a selling expense so it will go profit and loss debit so all types of expenses are written here on the debit side and the finally you can see credit side total is more so the difference is coming on the debit side 27000 to net profit and it is transferred to capital account so if the net profit comes we add in capital but if the net loss come then we have to minus from capital next illustration prepare trading and profit and loss account for the following information purchase debit side sales credit side return inward 